right, hi, my name is Ian Wilson, Hackle Hoarder on Instagram. Today I'm going to be tying up a Guide's Choice Here's Ear variation with some rope dub. All right, we're going to start off today with a number 10 jig hook. This is a Firehole 516 with a hairline uh, modeled tungsten bead, 3.8 millimeter. All right, we're going to adjust the hook with about seven or eight wraps of lead. That bead seated up near the lit up near the eye. Alright, using some brown thread. This is Vivit 14 Vivis 14 knot. Alright, so for our tail, we're gonna be using a clump of hair's mask. Can remove a little bit of that under fur. Okay, for the body of this guy, for the abdomen, we're gonna be using trout hunter dubbing and dark honey that we're going to spin in a loop. Technique called rope dubbing. All right, so first I'm just gonna hit my thread with a little bit of dubbing wax, keep my dubbing from sliding around. And with this, you can make a fairly thick noodle this is going to be spun so the new it will compress quite a bit. Okay. So we'll close that loop up. Wrap forward. We're going to tie it off, grab a dubbing spinner, I'm using the stone faux dubbing spinner here. Alright, now we're going to spin that and cord that up nice and tight. See that really comes down. And you don't want to spin this too much because you'll end up breaking your thread. That's one thing I do like about the stone faux thread is the strength. Um, doesn't seem to break as much as the UTC. Okay, so we'll clamp that off, trim the thread to get the dubbing spinner out of the way. Okay, next step was gonna wrap forward with our dubbing rope here. It's gonna form a nice segmented body. All right, once you get up, up towards the bead, a couple wraps over the top of that dubbing loop. Trim that out. Okay, next step. Okay, so we're gonna add some hair's mask dubbing. We're going to add some hair's mask dubbing, also spun in a loop. Actually, we're going to change threads here because we're going to use a red hot spot on this fly. So, all right, so we'll change threads. So we'll start our red thread, wrap back over our brown thread, Just trim the tag of our red and our brown out of there. Okay, now we'll unwind our thread, or uncord our thread so we can split it a little easier. Okay, now we've got that split. Hit it with a little bit of dubbing wax, help the materials stay in there a little better. Okay, and we're going to trim off another good size clump of hair's mask for the thorax kind of make a little bit of a soft soft hackle collar on it okay and we'll kind of slide that into the split thread 
And if you don't get it in there nice and straight, you can tap, kind of tap the butts of those fibers to get them to sit in there a little better. And go ahead and spin that up. All right, once you're happy with how that spun up, kind of start wrapping it forward, kind of just like it's a hackle. This is going to be a bushy one. Okay, you kind of pull some of those excess fibers out of the way. And you can just kind of wrap your hot spot. Once you're happy with about the size of your hot spot, you go ahead and whip finish. One, I like to do two. Two whip finishes. All right, and there you have it. Guide's Choice Hairs Your Variation with Rope Dub.